हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू टूडेज वीडियो सो अ नेचुरल क्वेश्चन इन द मार्केट राइट नाउ इज कि यार इतना पैनिक बचा हुआ है एंड द मार्केट इज फॉलोइंग अ लिटिल बेट सो शुड यू बाय दिस डिप सो फॉर पीपल हुआ न्यू टू द स्टॉक मार्केट लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली एक्सप्लेन वॉट डिप मीन्स सो यू कैन सी दट दी फिफ्टी टू वीक्स हाई दिस वॉज दी हाई इन दी निफ्टी इट वॉज ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर एंड राइट नाउ एट द टाइम ऑफ शूटिंग दिस वीडियो निफ्टी इज एट ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सो अप्रॉक्सिमेटली एट हंड्रेड अराउंड पॉइंट्स हैव बीन लॉस्ट ऑन निफ्टी सो इफ यू बाय द डिप डिप मीन्स दैट यू आर बाइंग द मार्केट वेन इट हेज फॉलन अ लिटिल बेट सो इफ यू बाय दिस यू कैन पोटेंशियली कैप्चर दिस एट हंड्रेड पॉइंट डिफरेंस नो कैप्चरिंग सच डिफरेंस is allows you to make an alpha alpha ka matlab ye hota hai ki maan ke chalo and i will explain you a very simple math here so let's say that the market is at 100 points and it falls by 20% then it will become 80 points right that is what the level of the market will be now this is a 20% fall now in case you are able to invest when the market is at 80 units or 80 points and the market goes back again 200 points then what is the percentage difference or percentage gain on the money that you have invested here well the short answer is 25% so therefore buying the dips is critical step in order to generate alpha now this is a second term that i will help you understand alpha means above benchmark returns bahut important point hai i will help you understand but the critical problem that happens in terms of buying the dip is that when the dip comes then people have no money to invest so on that note let me take you to my zerodas screenshot this is from console and what you would notice here is that this data is for the last approximately 6 months so you can see that this is from 9th of september 2023 all the way till today 18th of january 2024 when i'm shooting this video so this is roughly 4 months of data and you can see that this is my realized profit and loss on the equity segment and aap dekh sakte ho that i have roughly booked 25 lakhs rupees worth of profit in the last 4 months now these are announcements that i make on my member community also explain you the entire rationale why you should be creating something called as an opportunity fund what is the meaning of this opportunity fund ki aapke paas paisa ho when the dip comes you actually get to buy it now what do you think that i'm doing or with all this profit so as the market is going lower i am buying more and more again go back to that math ki 80 units 100 units jayega then the profit percentage gain on that money that was invested at 80 will be 25% so having these type of strategies is critical in order to buy the dip log kya karte hain ki people just create like general gyan ki yaar buy the dip not buy the dip don't catch a falling knife falana dimga they do not have a strategy so on this video i am going to help you understand how to systematically buy the dip how to generate an alpha and will take you through very simple steps very simple strategies now one key component of buying the dip is that you need to have money and aapka natural question aayega ki yaar market abhi it's still very high and maybe i should not invest my entire money maybe i should take a part of the money out ki main sip 100 rupees ki karta tha 100 rupees sip i used to do now i am just doing 80 rupees of sip so that 20 rupees left what should i do with this 20 rupees so well you can go and invest in bonds because bonds are relatively safer instruments they can give you a fixed return and that can be a part of your opportunity fund so on that note let me introduce you to the partners of today's video which is incred money it is a sebi registered bond investing platform so for more information you can check the links in the description and comment box and it will give you a very good idea as to how to invest in bonds so with that said let us begin the video and let me take you through five six very important useful steps that will help you buy the dip properly and along the way i will give you relevant examples of stocks that i have sold why am i buying more of certain types of stocks like hdfc bank wagera wagera so i'll give you entire stock related commentary also please watch this video till the very end and let's begin see the first step in terms of deciding whether you should be buying the dip or not buying the dip is to decide what the market circumstances right now look like so there are two three critical points that you need to understand the first critical point is that see agar aap yahan se kahani dekho so the market as of today has fallen by how much it has fallen by roughly 3.2 3.3% from its top market kabhi bhi at any point in time it can easily correct by 10% for no reason at all ab aap bologe ki yaar aise kaise bina reason ke kaise market gir jayega no it happens right that is very simple that see in market there are you know buyers in the market and then there are sellers in the market now jo sellers hote hain they are both technical in nature so for example there are technical analyst technical sell side analyst buy side analyst so ye technicals pe khelte hain okay so if technicals are telling them to sell a particular index or a particular stock then they will be net sellers in the market and they will take the market down on the flip side there can be other type of categories of players for example fundamental
फंडामेंटल इन्वेस्टर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंडिया की इकोनॉमी के बारे में बोला जा रहा है दैट इट इज़ अ वेरी गुड इकॉनॉमी शाइनिंग स्टार है बहुत अच्छी ग्रोथ हो रही है एंड एफ आई आईज डी आई आईज आर गोइंग टू डू भर भर के इन्वेस्टिंग इन इंडिया सो प्रोबली दीज आर फंडामेंटल गाइज ओके सो ऑन वन एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर द मार्केट माइट लुक ओवर वैल्यूड टू टेक्निकल एनालिस्ट बट इट माइट लुक अंडर वैल्यूड टू फंडामेंटल एनालिस्ट सो टू से सो प्लीज फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट डिसाइड वेदर यू आर अ फंडामेंटल इन्वेस्टर और यू आर अ ट्रेडर राइट स्ट्रैटेजीज विल बी वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट आई एम टीचिंग टू इन्वेस्टर्स अपना रोज का काम यह नहीं है कि दिन भर वही उठ गए सुबह राइट एंड लगे पड़े हैं कंप्यूटर पे कि पहले सिंगापुर का पढ़ना है कि क्या होने वाला है वहाँ पे देन थ्रू आउट द डे लाइक आई एम स्ट्रेस अबाउट लाइक नो वेदर द मार्केट इज गोइंग लो और हाई नो आई डोंट डू ऑल दैट झिक झिक आई हैव अ लाइफ टू लिव आई स्वेम एक्सरसाइज ट्रैवल टेक वेकेशन वगैरह वगैरह आई एन्जॉय माई लाइफ एंड आई हैव जीरो गोल्स ऑफ बिकमिंग लाइक अ ट्रेडर एंड do things like where 90 95% people are not making money right so my style of investing works and you will see right i will explain you the entire concept behind it so anyways that's point 1 the point 2 is that you need to understand your worst case scenario now what is the meaning of worst case scenario which is the short term fall that can potentially happen in the market so top se dekhte hain so if you look at the top so this was a top and this is the first typical support that is happening right so the market can easily fall by roughly 8% in the absolute short term at any point in time please remember this this is an important level the second key point is and this is a more pertinent support level i would say so here how much could be the total fall from the top so yahan se aap dekhoge so this fall comes out to be roughly 15 16% now this is again a fall that could come at any moment okay so at least 15% ki taiyari 15% taiyari you should have on your portfolio ki uh, whatever money i am investing right now let's say that i invest 10 lakh rupees it is very very likely that this 10 lakh rupee might become 8 and a half lakh rupee within a month's time or within 15 days time then what will you do if you do not have an answer to that please do not go and buy the dip in the market so to say okay so this is a very very important concept that you need to have a very clear understanding of what the current worst case scenario in the market is to ye to ho gaya worst case scenario then you have to prepare another scenario which is called as reasonable or moderate scenario for example two major macro triggers are left for example agar aap elections ke bare mein baat karo then within a one year of election time market typically gives on an average 25 to 30% gain ye main aapko data double check karke bata dunga in fact i am planning a video on that but election is a very positive trigger on the market this is point 1 point 2 is the interest rate cuts and these are going to happen and these are likely to happen within the 6 months itself on top of that there are us elections at the end of the year so ye teeno cheeze ho rahi hain and these are major macro triggers why because the government will make every possible attempt to keep the sentiments high and one part of keeping the economy sentiments high is to keep propelling the stock market so this acts as a positive counter to this worst case scenario so by analyzing this situation you need to make a call whether you should be buying a dip or not extremely critical point i hope that the story so far is clear to everyone so now comes the second point the second key point is ki yaar dekho when market falls by like 2% 2.5% which is what has happened as of like wednesday and thursday the market has fallen by roughly 3% nifty entire nifty might have fallen in total by 3% and people are saying ki yaar dip khareed lete hain dip khareed lete hain dip khareed lete hain see guys maybe yes or no i typically make decisions at 5 5% rise or fall in the market right so for me this is very very normal i am not panic i am not like you know sweating ki hi mai to lut gaya barbaad ho gaya 2.5% se market gir gaya 2.5% percent is nothing right that's what i'm trying to tell you you should make your buying or selling decisions at 5 5% interval so i hope that this is clear now let us understand the third key point which has to do with generating an alpha in the market so i will give a very quick explainer here and will help you understand a very important point of generating a positive alpha when you are buying a dip okay so usse pehle ek thodi si conceptual cheez padh lete hain and i will encourage you to answer this question that as per data and you can check it here somewhere roughly 85% of actively managed mutual funds do not beat the index now what is the meaning of this statement it simply means that nifty kagar is roughly around 12 and a half percent on an average this is 20 year kagar and agar aap study utha ke dekh lo then these returns are much better than the returns of 85% mutual fund managers who actively manage large cap mutual funds this is not me giving you biased information this is the data you can go and check so ab main aapse puchu ki bhai sahab aisa hota kyun hai ki why is it that mutual fund managers jinka full time kaam hi hai ki din bhar baith ke screenon pe gade raho and generate an alpha alpha means that figure out a way to beat the market 85% of them are unable to beat the market why is that okay 
द रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी आस्क यूर वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन जब मार्केट टच ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड एंड यू आर रनिंग योर एस आई पी यू गेव द म्यूचुअल फंड मैनेजर की ईयर है मेरे बीस हजार रुपए डू दी एस आई पी फ्रॉम इट वॉट डू यू थिंक द म्यूचुअल फंड मैनेजर विल डू ही और शी विल गो एंड इन्वेस्ट दैट मनी बाई डिफॉल्ट वाई बिकॉज दे के नॉट वेट टू मच राइट दे के नॉट वेट किया जब अच्छा टाइम आएगा जब मार्केट थोड़ा गिर जाएगा वेन देर इज अ डिप क्रिएटेड देन आई विल गो एंड बाय इट दे हैव टू इन्वेस्ट दैट मनी डू यू हैव दैट कंपल्शन टू डू इट कि भाई आज मार्केट इस महीने मान के चलो कि इट्स एट हाइस्ट एवर डू यू हैव द कंपल्शन दैट यू हैव टू गो एंड इन्वेस्ट दैट मनी राइट नाउ द शॉर्ट आंसर इज नो सो नो यू डोंट हैव द कंपल्शन टू डू दैट सो देयर फॉर आई कीप ऑन सेइंग दैट इन डायरेक्ट इक्विटी इन्वेस्टिंग यू कैन जनरेट अ पॉजिटिव एल्फा इट इज मच ईजियर फॉर यू टू डू अब आप ये कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल लग जाएगा बहुत सारे लोगों को एंड बहुत सारे लोग मेरे पीछे पड़ जाएंगे कि ऐसा कैसा आप अपना पी एन एल दिखाओ देख लो आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिलीज एन एंटायर वीडियो वेर आई हैव शोन द पी एन एल ऑफ लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स ओके एंड जो मैंने आपको अभी दिखा है लास्ट फोर मंथ डेटा दैट वॉज नॉट कवर्ड इन द लास्ट थ्री ईयर बिकॉज आई हेड रिलीज दिस पी एन एल समेयर इन नवंबर एंड आप अभी भी देख सकते हो दैट इन द लास्ट फोर मंथ्स आई हैव बीन पॉजिटिव मैं अपने नोशनल प्रॉफिट दिखाने को भी तैयार हूँ वरना कहीं को लगेगा कि यार नोशनल आप लॉस में हो गए आपने सिर्फ प्रॉफिट बुकिंग कर ली thing of that sort i transparently share whatever i do in the market when i am saying that people with sensible investing style will be able to easily beat mutual fund managers they will be able to beat mutual fund managers kyunki hamare paas koi compulsion nahi hota we have a small portfolio to run kitne ka hoga aapka portfolio bahut ameer bhi ho gaye to 40 50 crore 100 crore right is that nahi how much is mutual fund money it's crazy right hazaron crore ke hue hote hain unke so managing 50 60 crore is easier or managing 1000 crore is easier well of course 50 60 crore you are much more nimble you can easily cut your positions build your positions buy the dip okay सो ये कॉन्फिडेंस तो आपको होना चाहिए दैट इन ऑर्डर टू बेनिफिट फ्रॉम बाइंग द डेप यू शुड हैव एक्सपोजर टू डायरेक्ट स्टॉक्स If you do not have exposure to direct stocks, buying the dip will become harder. Now, let me explain that point. Ki why buying the dip will become harder? And upon Wednesday and Thursday, ki story se samajhte hain ki if you take a look at the performance of HDFC Bank's stock price, the stock has roughly fallen by ten and a half percent. Kahi log to mere piche pad gaye ki aksha adab ne to barbad karwa diya, right? Ten and a half percent fall on HDFC Bank. You used to be very bullish on HDFC Bank. Why? So I have sold zero stock which liye. I have sold zero stock on HDFC Bank as of now. I am. 100% invested in fact i have invested more money into hdfc bank why again go back to that principle ki 80 se 100 jayega then there is a 25% profit on it and at one point in time i was at 12 13% profit on hdfc bank unfortunately in the last two days almost all of that profit has been wiped out but am i stressed the short answer is absolutely not why am i not stressed because i am looking at fundamentals i am looking at technicals and i am quite confident that hdfc bank will come back up so isse aasan bhasha mein aapko koi ye concept nahi samjha sakta so let me open the technical chart of hdfc bank first and foremost and then we will have a discussion see so hdfc bank has been consolidating in this range for a while now right and let me just zoom out the chart a little bit and what you will see is that this is the channel for hdfc bank so this channel that you see this is a channel this is the long term channel for hdfc bank right ye jo aapko red red se channel dikh raha hai and isme the stock used to go up and down up and down and then suddenly there was a breakdown of this channel and the stock is trading somewhere here in this zone right so for me this is a bulk buy zone as long as the fundamentals of the stocks are fine okay and this is called as buying the dip on individual stocks आपको ये डिसीजन लेने पड़ेंगे कि आपने इस तरीके के स्टॉक्स बल्क में खरीदने हैं नहीं खरीदने हैं वाई इज इट दैट यू वांट टू बाय इट नॉट बाय इट एंड हैव अ फेथ ऑन वॉट एवर एनालिसिस दैट यू आर डूइंग सो आई डू अ वेरी क्विक एनालिसिस एंड हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड द हिस्ट्री ऑफ टू थ्री एसेट्स दैट आई पिक्ड इन द पास्ट एंड हाउ दे आर डूइंग नाउ आफ्टर लाइक सिक्स मंथ्स टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स परफॉर्मेंस ओके सो ओके सो लेट एस फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दट वॉट इज द टिपिकल गेन दैट वी कुड पोटेंशियली गेट फ्रॉम समथिंग लाइक एच डी बैंक एज ऑफ नाउ एज पर टेक्निकल्स ओके सो आप यहाँ से देख सकते हो कि एच डी बैंक इज ट्रेडिंग हियर as of today okay and this is one channel in which hdfc bank is and agar aap isko draw down karke dekhoge to you will realize that there is a 14% profit to be made just by trading this channel okay so this is point 1 and this type of gain can come at any point in time it might happen in a week's time it might happen in a month's time it might happen in 6 months i don't know when okay second key point is that if the stock goes from this point a to point b which is this channel so roughly ye yahan pe jaake kahin hoga right so then if we pick this up then what is the potential gain that we are looking at so yahan se yahan tak aap dekh sakte ho so this will be roughly 40 45-46% gain that could potentially be made in mid term. Okay, long term का तो अपन बोल नहीं सकते कि भाई कितना चढ़ेगा या बढ़ेगा. But right now the math is short term gain 14% and mid term gain around 45%. Right, so this is what I am predicting. Now what is the loss? Right, so let's look at the downside scenario also on HDFC Bank. भाई सब न्यूजें आ गई राइट right? कि अच्छा 
एलिफेंट प्रॉब्लम है दैट एच डी एफ सी एज बिकम टू मार्च नेम इनका घट गया है ए डी आर इनका कम हो गया दुनिया भर की चीज़ें एंड स्टॉक इज स्टिल नॉट ब्रोकन दिस चैनल पर से नाउ आई एम नॉट सिंग दैट इट कैन नॉट टेम्परली ब्रेक दिस चैनल ऑल्सो इट वेरी वेल माइट हु नोस राइट बट टू कट द लॉन्ग स्टोरी शॉर्ट इफ यू लुक एट दैट फॉर हाउ लॉन्ग द स्टॉक हैज नॉट परफॉर्म वेल इट इज एट द सेम लेवल वॉट इट वॉज बैक इन नवंबर ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो ऑलमोस्ट Three years, more than three years, almost three, three and a half years have happened. How much return has the stock given? The stock has given zero percent return. So now we move to the fundamental analysis of the stock, and let's try to see that what has that difference in terms of revenues, profits, profit growth has been from 2020 up until now. So 2020 में bank was at 122. By the way, इसके revenues से double हो गए हैं. चलो ठीक है. It has become a bigger company, so we cannot say doubling of revenues per se. Profits again have doubled. So it's not as if कि merger की वजह से profit percentage has come down, right? So that is one. सेकेंड इज दैट इफ यू लुक एट प्रॉफिट ग्रोथ रेट बिकॉज आप ये भी पकड़ लो राइट ट्रेलिंग ट्वेल्व मंथ भी देख लो यहां पर तो मर्जिंग हो चुकी थी ना फॉर एच डी एफ सी एंड एच डी एफ सी बैंक यहां पर प्रॉफिट ग्रोथ रेट हैजीन थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ओके एंड रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ रेट हैज बीन फिफ्टी नाइन सिक्सटी परसेंट आफ्टर मर्जर तो मर्जर में प्रॉब्लम आ कहां से गई राइट सो नाउ प्लीज गो एंड देर इज अ लाइव सेशन दैट आर डन प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इट यू विल गेट मोर डिटेल्स अबाउट एच डी एफ सी बट टू कट द लॉन्ग स्टोरी शॉर्ट देर हैज बीन नथिंग रॉन्ग With HDFC Bank, I continue to buy my positions. I continue to build my positions. Now, building positions does not mean that I have bought a house, bought it, and all of that. You know, I have kept it in my pocket and mortgaged it myself. And you know, HDFC will put money in it. Nothing of that sort. Okay. So, my total investment on HDFC would be somewhere around like five, six percent of my portfolio. I am okay bringing it up to seven, eight percent, right? But then I will stop, right? So that's what I would do. Why? Why would I not invest hundred percent of my money in HDFC Bank? Because it could be that the stock market is not as if it is guaranteed return. There is a level of risk. which brings me to the next point that you need to hedge your risk if you are buying a dip if you are just simply buying the dip without sir pair bhai bhar bhar ke bas khareedte chale gaye and have no strategy then you will get wiped out so therefore it becomes very important to understand what is portfolio building and how to construct a portfolio if you do not know that please go and watch this channel i also teach all these fundamental points on my youtube member community i also teach all this in a structured manner more elaborate manner much deeper manner on my live course the next batch is starting you can check the links in the description and comment box the testimonials have been excellent people have enjoyed it it has a completion rate of 95% log sir course khari khari ke chhod dete hain and that's it no my courses are completed by people they really enjoy it you can go and speak with my students khulla right i mean itne log testimonials agar post karte rehte hain you go and speak with them on linkedin agar and you can decipher their experience so to cut the long story short whether you are learning from me through my courses through my youtube member community or you are learning elsewhere feel free to do it but please invest as per fundamentals jaise abhi hal filhal i feel that even asian paints is good lot of other good good stocks are there sbi cards is good ye sare acche stocks hain but you need to know how to analyze it and then you can make a better judgment of buying the dip and the next critical point is that you must hedge the risk now what is the meaning of hedging the risk So now there are multiple hedging strategies that you can build in the market. For example, I showed you a profit booking strategy. For example, just say I purchased Angel One, right? So, man, ke chalo, I purchased hundred units of stock. So, so man, ke chalo, that I invested like ten lakhs. Okay. Now, Angel One, I made roughly, or I am on roughly hundred and. something odd percent gains so this 10 lakh became how much 20 lakhs now i withdraw 20% of my portfolio so 20 25% portfolio i will withdraw now that allows me then this is called as profit booking so this allows me to buy more dip right in case there is a problem in the market and the market comes down i can always plow back that money and it allows me to do that similarly aap bond mein laga sakte ho paisa right isse aap cash flow generate kar sakte ho ya if you have real estate investment jisse aapko regular paisa mil raha hai then again you can buy more the idea is that if the entire market falls from 100 to let's say 90 points okay and if you have money to invest then then when it goes from 90 to 100 this is an 11 point something percent gains okay and this is a 10 percent fall so what we are trying to do is that we are planning to play this math this is extremely critical this is called as hedging strategy in other simple words everyone might have a different way of approaching hedging or analyzing risk but the answer that you need is that you need to have a very clear strategy as to how to deal with 20 percent fall now ye 20 percent number kahan se aaya because Technically speaking, when the market corrects by twenty percent, it's a start of a bear run, or we are considered to be in that bear run zone. And whenever you buy the market or index, when it is discounted by twenty percent from the top and hold it for two to three years, 
you will never make a loss in fact you will make more than 15% cagr easily okay so ye to almost sure shot returns hai from that perspective now you can also go to options now please note i am not encouraging options aap log yaar faltu mein wo create kar dete ho ki i am trying to encourage people to get into options no i use options from hedging perspective now what is the meaning of hedging it will get little bit more complicated if i get into that here is a note that i had done on my youtube member community you can go read it agar aapko thoda sa samajh mein aaye it was called as put buying option strategy for hdfc bank this is something that i executed and luckily i was saved because i had done hedging on my portfolio if you guys want then i can teach you all these dangerous things also options buying selling and how to invest in ipos properly let me know in the comment box i don't want to do it because you know yaar fir log na halla machane lag jate hain ki yaar you know aada gandi cheeze sikha rahe ho and all that stuff no big investors hedge their portfolio by using options i am not telling you to become an options trader that is not something that i have encouraged ever and i will never do that but having an understanding that how to use options as an insurance those two are very very different things please do not confuse it my push again is not that you become an options trader so please note this down and let me know in case you would want me to make these type of videos uh, otherwise i will anyways post more content on my youtube member community and courses and teach all these things systematically so i hope that this point is clear now comes the final point in terms of buying the dip see actually kya hota hai ki the sentiments are made negative on certain things so as to create panic अब ये सेंटिमेंट्स नेगेटिव कैसे होते हैं जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दी एच बैंक इशू उसमें क्या कर दिया कि भाई ईडीआर गिर गया है भाई निम गिर गया है भाई ये हो गया है भाई वो हो गया है एंड हु आर द वंस हु आर पंपिंग ऑल दिस न्यूज न्यूज चैनल वाले उनका काम ही है राइट सो दे क्रिएट नेगेटिव सेंटिमेंट्स एंड दे डिड समथिंग सिमिलर ऑन आई स्टॉक्स सिक्स मंथ्स अगो इफ यू गो भाई सब कुछ खत्म है आई में कुछ चलेगा ही नहीं तब से आई टी इंडेक्स हैज गिवन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट रन अप थर्टी परसेंट रन अप आई एम सेटिंग ऑन थर्टी परसेंट प्रॉफिट ऑन आई टी इंडेक्स ओके नॉट इवन इंडिविजुअल स्टॉक्स ह्यूज रन अप बिकॉज आई वॉज एबल टू बाय द डिप सक्सेसफुली देर सिमिलरली एच डी एफ सी एम सी गो वन वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स बैक अगेन दट सेम नॉन सेंस की आर यू नो आट एच डी एफ सी एम सी कॉम्पिटिशन ही कॉम्पिटिशन है ये वो एंड नाउ लुक एट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ एच डी एफ सी एम सी एंड एम सी कंपनीज इन जनरल सेम गो वन निफ्टी फिफ्टी वॉज ट्रेडिंग एट लाइक सेवेंटी थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड वो खत्म निफ्टी यार साइडवेज ही हो गया मार्केट कभी नहीं बढ़ेगा दिस दैट I was doing a live investing of 50 lakh here. You can go and check this video. The point is that all these are sensible buying strategies. Why? Because I betted against the sentiments. कुछ negative sentiment अगर आपको मिल जाए ना और पीट रहे stock because of negative sentiment news वाले उसमें लगे पड़े हैं लगे पड़े हैं जा जाके भर भर के खरीद लो and after six eight months if the stock is fundamentally sound it will bounce back. Now I get a lot of questions कि यार अक्षत इससे better ये नहीं है कि you know what we buy like something when it has fallen completely. and buy it at the bottom and sell it at the top yes that is what all of us would love to do but there is no way anyone be it technical traders fundamental investors we will not be able to time the bottom of the market because usme macro risks bhi hoti hain and wo kis extent tak news ko manipulate kar diya jayega you would not even understand jaise red sea issue chal raha hai bhai अब आपने क्या लेना देना है कि रेड सी इशू में क्या चल रहा है इज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट समथिंग लाइक दिस इज हैपनिंग समथिंग और द अदर कीप्स ऑन हैपनिंग इन द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज एब्सोल्युटली इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड मैक्रो इन्वेस्टिंग बट द पॉइंट इज दट एवरी माइनर थिंग नीड नॉट बी लुक डैट विद एब्सोल्यूट फाइन लेंस ओके डिस्काउंट ऑल दिस थिंग फालतू में पंपअप चल रहा है कि यार रेड सी की वजह से ना इंडिया खत्म हो जाएगा एंड ऑल दट स्टफ प्लीज डू नॉट बिलीव इन ऑल दिस स्टफ यू विल बिकम अ पैनिक्ड इन्वेस्टर द मोर काम यू आर वेन द मार्केट इज फॉलोइंग इट मीन्स दैट यू आर रेडी टू buy a dip if you do not feel calm if you feel over leveraged up over leveraged over invested kab feel karoge when you have purchased or made most of your purchases in a rising market ab wo ho gayi aapki hawa niklegi usme yaar if you have purchased something when the market was at absolute top ab zyada kharidte chale gaye kharidte chale gaye upward average karte chale gaye and the market falls at 20% aapki sitti bitti gol ho jayegi and you will not be able to buy the dip only right The worst thing that you can do is that you start chasing the market when it is running and start selling stuff when it is falling. As long as you do the opposite, that would be the essence of buying the dip properly. I hope that you enjoyed this conversation. If you did, then do press the like button and also check the links in the description box. And I will see you the next time.